Hello everyone. Myself Dr. Sohel Rana. I am working as an associate professor in Sasi Institute of Technology and Engineering Tadepalli Gudam. I am giving this presentation on electronic devices and circuits. Before that, I thank JNTUK for giving such a opportunity to create e-content for the students of JNTUK and the entire state of Andhra Pradesh. In this course, I will use various methods for better understanding of this subject. I will use in class live recording, I will use PowerPoint presentations, I will use two dimensional animations and at some instances I will also use three dimensional animations. All those animations I am preparing myself by using freeware software and we are also proposed to purchase the equipments required for the e-content. In this brief session I will give you the idea about the course and the methodologies which I intend to use in this course. Let us begin with the course objectives. This subject mainly deals with the semiconductor physics and the devices made up by using semiconductors. In next sessions we are going to discuss the importance of semiconductors. This course will start with the study of basic concepts which are very much required. Then it will continue these basic concepts with the analysis and study of the required parameters for making various gadgets. Then we will explore various characteristics of the devices made up of semiconductors. Finally we will discuss about the integrated circuit fabrication techniques. But before doing so, let us discuss why we are going to study this course. Let us try to realize the importance of this course by taking a glance towards the life before semiconductors. Before semiconductors inventions, the devices were made up by using the bulky vacuum tubes. There were thousands and millions of vacuum tubes used in a system. There were bulky CRTs and the television sets. There were computers of a size of a big hall. But, but after the inventions of semiconductors, the life has completely changed. We have mobile phones. All the mobile phones, they work on the processor. And processor is nothing but an integrated circuit. This integrated circuit or processor is nothing but a semiconducting material. On a semiconductor, we make various ICs and not only ICs, but the memories. The memory cards we use in our day-to-day -day life are also nothing but made up of semiconductors. The motherboards, various chips, the diodes, the transistors, everything is made up of semiconductors. Nowadays, what flat televisions we are having, that is also result of inventions in semiconducting physics. While you are an end user of these gadgets, you must know how they work. For that, you have to understand the functioning of semiconductors and how semiconductors are used to make these high-end gadgets. To whom this course belongs to? This course starts from the very basic core of the 10th class. It belongs to the 10th class students moving towards the intermediate. It belongs to 12th class students, those who are planning for IITs and engineering. This course belongs to first year engineering students of all the disciplines. Now let us discuss the methodologies. What we are going to do to make this course students friendly. We want to increase the quality of education and implement the outcome based education. Students have a lot of confusion about what is outcome based education. For achieving outcome based education, we are going to use four different methods. It involves in-class sessions, 2D presentations, software and hardware demos and most importantly three dimensional animations which will give more clear idea about the concept which students find difficult to understand from a book which is a two dimensional method of explaining the terms. Now the rest of the presentation you will get an idea about the methods which we are going to use. Duration of this course is two months which will comprise around 32 sessions.